And now that we've created our property lines, let's add our topographic surface. Uh, let's go to our site plan. And let's go to site and massing. I'm going to say topographic surface. So this is relative to our main floor, which is at elevation zero. So I'm going to say, okay, well, uh, at the corners, let's just say the corners are low and it rises up to get to the building. So I'm going to say, well, I'm going to place some points at minus, you know, 1,000. So three feet below the main floor. I got a point there point there and then maybe in the front it's even lower minus you know 1500 there and let's follow this along okay and then right up against the building it's only say minus 300 uh, minus 250 which is about 10 inches and I'm going to do this from, while I'm sketching, I can switch over to my foundation plan. And I'm going to go back and say place point again, minus 250. So right at the corner of the building. Don't worry about that earth showing up. Okay, and finish. Okay, now in my top of footing, I don't want the topo to show. So I'm going to pick on here, and I'm just going to say hide the category. I don't want to see this in there at all. But if I go to my site plan, I'm going to zoom out, and I'll be able to see that um, surface. So if I click on there, I'll see it. If I go to my 3D view, I'll now see that surface okay let's pick on it and let's change the material to be grass and then i'll make kind of a driveway of asphalt going up to the um up to the front with a little walkway around there so we need let's see if there's grass site uh, no grass. Boy, we have to make a new material. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, let's go. Let's have a look down inside of our little library here. Create new library. Click on here. Let's do a search in here for grass. Ah, here we go. Bermuda grass. Sure, sounds good. So double click on that and it'll add that. I believe it'll add that set of assets to our project. Um, not quite. What I want to do is hit exit on here and what I've done, I believe is I want to get rid of this and I'm going to duplicate something. Let's see what I'll duplicate. Um, default. Let's, let's duplicate earth. I'm going to pick on earth and say duplicate. And then I'm going to go in here and type grass. Okay. Once I have my material grass, now I can go into here and I can go grab the assets. So I'm making a new material. So grass, and if I hit this button, what it does is it imports that to this material that I just created. Okay, so I created, duplicated a new material, hit my assets library, did a search for grass and imported the grass properties into my new material. Hit OK and then back in here under materials I have grass. Click out. Now if I pick on here and it does say grass. Okay, let's see why it's not showing up surface wise. Aha! 
So I want to go into here. It seems to. Have, let's go back to our material. So that looks good, the appearance. What I need to do in graphics is say use rendered appearance. That'll make it turn green. So I need to use rendered appearance. This is the assets I brought in. And cross your fingers. I think it should turn out to be green now. Click out and there's our grass. Good. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to split that surface and add um, a um, driveway and a walkway around our building here in our next lesson.